Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? We are in Mafia 3. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Ooh, volume is loud. All right. Hold on real quick. Okay. I'll do that on stream. Um, <laughs> really? Really? Oh wow, this is really loud. Get off of that page. Lincoln, pick up the keys. Oh, okay, that needs to, uh... Lock conversion. There we go. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck, just like we asked. He was greased his money to make it look good. If you got doubts, I'll take the chance. Oh, I can pick him up. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, just, just drop him. Oh! All right then, that's that. God damn. <laughs> I didn't know what that would do. We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Get through the door. Don't you I don't want music. There we go. All right, it's first time I've ever played this. Take it easy, hand to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. So we're... An old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, we're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. Wow. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Wow, hey man, wow, I'm a wow. taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? <laughs> oh, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nye. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we getting him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand, and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some gook getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. Ah, uh, yeah. It's not a fault. There's gonna not be like some language thing. in this game that's uh, gonna be racist, there, but it's because of. Uh, Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people because of the history, the they're making it accurate. To I didn't realize it would kick right into it when I started. It fucking out. pig.
What? Let's try that again. Come on, a game crash? Are you kidding me? That is frustrating. Basically gotta do it all over again. <sighs> Alright, so we're not gonna kill that guy this time. Oh, I can continue! I can continue! Continue from. All right, off we go again. Take it easy here in the town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. My old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing <clears throat> to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. Mm, wow. Fuck you in the process. Back up, back so up. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano right. pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison that for that fucking time. That really loud, bill. isn't it? Huh. So, come on, you going to answer the question or what? We, uh... All right, I'm going to keep driving. We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie over Rand. Gonna drop the day. volume down anyway, a little bit. Anyway, getting them onto a medical ship. This woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand. too bad. And a leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses Turn the baby in the actually. water. And people's an ape. Tell someone dive in after the kid, start screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says, dude? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, All you right. asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting Let's his hear, dick uh... blown off. Watch out. Uh, like I was saying. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were gonna tell me a story about some <laughs> goof getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. It's not a fault. Okay, like if you've been thing. watching, you've seen this already. Over there, man. There was a warning Jesus at the beginning Christ. of the game that some of the language in One this game is going to be cattle, offensive. Um, your rice. Next day, I bomb flat. wish I could get that screen Put back and show you, but it was basically as they soon as I launched the game. Spot. That better be um, one delicious fucking pig. It uh, seems like it's it's because it's period accurate is what they're doing. Uh, yeah, it was dark history in our country, but you know they're making there's they said that they feel like it would be offensive to those that had to go through it if they didn't include it and show how bad it actually was. Trying to slow down. Guys at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. And, um. What was I was gonna say. I might be back at streaming tomorrow night. Uh, 
I won't be around to I won't be on tonight. Should be on tomorrow. Uh, probably tomorrow night streaming some more. So I'll let you know now. Back it up to the loading dock. And you know, I'm just gonna say I know I don't have face cam yet, but I don't quite have Some everything I need for it. Some might get a little uh, rough with the um, language, and well, I ain't like I never been called nigger before. I uh, know, but I'm just saying if I go along with it, ain't nothing personal. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. Wow. Wow, that's harsh. That is harsh. Can't imagine. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. You have a gun, but I had to keep my gun in the car. Now, here we go. Put your IDs up to the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old wow. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll have Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. Wow. You need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Scatter gun. Shotgun. Wow. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job, but a young nigga who staggers in is hide on the spot. Wow. You're probably gonna end up killing this guy. <laughs> Dang. These bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. And it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. <sighs> here we are. Put those bags on the table there. They're just burning money. I've done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. Used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. Told him I wasn't interested. I never was neither till I saw this. At least with oil. <laughs> God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> right, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Saving. We've been written out. 
Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sit. Christ! Finding cover. Oh, he turned around. How did I know he was going to turn around? Let's try that again. That was disappointing. Jeez, I don't believe that. You know, really? I mean, come on. Come on. Can you hear me all right? Gives them the right to Here he is! Get him! Nick, get over here, man! I will. Let me dump the body. Nick, get over here, man! Oh, he turned around. How did I know he was going to turn around? Let's try that again. That was disappointing. Jeez, I don't believe that. You know, really? I mean, come on. Come on. Can you hear me all right? Gives them the right to it. Here he is. Get him. Nick, get over here, man. I will. Let me dump the body. Nick, get over here, man. I'm coming, man. Oh, cool, cool, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Fucking move! Got me stuck! He's got us all! Oh! Get off the wall, get off the wall! Face. Expose the lock until it's green, then press that. <sighs> I 
Interesting. <gasps> yes, please. Ho ho ho! Face way worse than this over in Nam. We'll smoke don't be shit. Stay close to the vault, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. This boy's starting something. Here he is, kid. Well, Sammy had men all over the place. Uh, one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery hmm. of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. Interesting. Setup of how this all went down. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't... They don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. <laughs> Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Nice outfit, dude. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Me is how this is the first time in four years and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it. It was fucking great. <laughs> Mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your cop. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. Mm. Wow. That route. What you say he's doing all right? Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashed? Oh! Where the fuck you going? Wrong key! Anyway. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if... Um... Get off collection. Get off collection. <laughs> we're not watching that. Not watching. We're not going to look at this. The train's delayed. What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. It'll be fine once you get Hey, man, be careful. Where was I? It'll be fine once he sees you. You cannot break these Ever cars. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Damn, you're scratching the paint. I'm trying to stop. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after Ooh. you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want something. I say, show. Sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine wow. Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. 
I ain't said more than three words and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Wow. Fucking around the side. Aaron was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the hollow in Frisco, just selling the French wall. Georgie's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. Georgie's a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit. I don't know if I can out. run red yeah. lights with the cops in this All right. game. That's why I wait for the cops to pass through the intersection. Once you get settled in, I was thinking we could go to this new club in the French Ward. Maybe double date it. Who the hell am I gonna go with? Your great aunt Beatrice? Oh God! <laughs> I ever tell you I accidentally saw her without a shirt once? Oof. That woman has the droopiest, nastiest tits I've ever seen. <laughs> they were like two sacks of potatoes with nothing in them. Yeah, like that was a fucking accident. Hey man, fuck you. I was damn lucky to walk away from that one. Wow. Come on, we're going through the front. I ain't having your wall here, I ask you, the back door. Look who I found panhandling out in front of the train station. Pleasure, man. Boy, I send you to bring Link on Clayho. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? Wow. I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always did love corn whiskey. I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realized Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so so proud of you. Paul Lincoln! <laughs> Bienvenue à la maison! Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! <laughs> so good. Nice seeing you, Lincoln. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> Now who wants to get shit faced? <laughs> Woo! It's hard mm. to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation, fear, guilt. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out and every fear every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you and there's no escape from any of it and then one day a door opens and you're free to go just like that the thing is you made your peace with your terror and your peace. <laughs> and now part Sorry, of you the old lady go goosing him. Is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door. One way or another. Man, <laughs> whiskey's going hoy in the morning. Hell man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, 
that wall wants to really fuck you up. My guess is he feels safer down here. Tells me this is where everything takes place. This is my safe house, probably. See that? That's a collectible. I want a collectible. A trophy. I'm not looking at those. Weapon wheel, okay. Oh, run? Apparently not. We barely have two nickels to rub together, now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ! Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you were to listen to me. What mess? Not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to Boy, I'm not mind. wanting you again. Have it your way, old man. Wow. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? <sighs> I'm having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, truck's all loaded up. I figure we got enough out there for... Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. Oh. This thing oh. patience. How serious is it? Ah. Sorry. You know where it is. Mike noise. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Go on. Come on, microphone. Those people waiting on their food. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Oh, I saw Langan a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. <laughs> now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay in hell. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. I like the, uh, the music from the era. It's good stuff. Good well, stuff. most likely. Three-month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. I'm gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Uh, they won't like the head, but they'll come around. You need to do what's good <sighs> for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Something's gonna happen. Warm meal, warm heart. Oh, sure.
Thanks. Oh, I actually have to hit the button. Okay. Good morning. You delivering a real blessing here, Lincoln. Thank you. Blessings mine, ma'am. Couple days back and they already got you working? Ah, I'm happy to do it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. <laughs> Don't get old, son. It's a fucking shit ship. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. <laughs> Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Reggie? I'm good. Nice to see you around the hollow again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Lincoln, we got trouble. Run, Reggie. Right there. Well, I think you're with your Lincoln. Sammy's next. <laughs> Run for your lives. <laughs> Motherfuckers oh. over here. Oh. Heroin? Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Mm. Uh, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Hey. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on Veloz started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. With this thing with the Haitians, it's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet. Away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. I don't trust careful, that kid. Yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. Yeah, you're talking for a dude who just got from back from Vietnam. Hmm. No clue. French though, because we're in Louisiana. Is that French? Creole. Well, it's a mix, probably. You sure this is how you want to play this? 
Last thing they're gonna expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. There we go. Climb. There we go. How many men we send? Two teams. One's going to hit the bar. The other's going after the. Yes. Boss says if we have to burn down half the hollow to get Sammy, we doing it. Ain't stopping till that old man's dead. Papa Legba, open the gate. Being eaten, okay. This isn't going to be fun. Should have killed that old man a long time ago. Whistle. Think the boss was worried that Sammy would involve Marcano. Ask him to come down on us. That crap. I heard something I don't like.
find him before he doubles back. No result here. Time to move. Holy! Video game shotgun. Look at this. Oh, shit. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Come on, computer. Come on, there we go. Stand back up, please. Come on. Cover!
gotta be kidding me. One's gonna hit the bar. The other's going after Perlis. Boss says if we have to burn Papa down, down the hollow to keep what? Sunny, get to me. Stop into the oh, no, 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 just... Him, Ellis, and the other one. Lincoln Clay. He's the one. This tiger will get away from us. Watch this. Oh, man, is that vicious. All right, you gotta walk that way. Keep walking. Oh, he didn't stop that time. Let's take that. This dude is going to get hurt in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, we have a roamer. That was close. Got the shotgun ammo.
Then Christ is gone. Come on. This is gonna be violent. Fuck you! Who violent, Bata? Fuck you! You made a big mistake going after the hollow. Come on! What my way is this? Come on! What way to? Fuck me! Not on so to white now. The man you're talking about took me in where I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. He's dead! He's dead! 
He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. Over? Over! <laughs> this is never going to be over. Pajam! Wow. Fucking Haitians. Come on, peek your head. He can't hit me from here. Oh. This train all the way to the inn, Frey. They're using the same ammo. Ah! 45 pistol and a Tommy gun. Move for him, 
Nice and all. Out of his misery. I'm not gonna let him just bleed out. Are you kidding me? You took three shots to the chest! We're gonna finish up this and probably call it for the day. Other things I need to get done. Oh, what is this? Press down directional button to throw explosives while driving. Hold down directional button to aim explosives, then release to throw. Okay. Get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baka? Well, we came to an understanding. He stayed dead, not let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. <laughs> Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. And this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. With them out of the way, things will calm down. Go back to how they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. Exactly. I know, this makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. Don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. But Ellis, we don't need to talk about it. I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is going to be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we got to be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we got to worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. And it's some interesting gunplay in this game. I like it. It's different. It's not your average. Oh, shoot! Lankin didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always going to be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going to end. Huh. <sighs> That's how Lincoln ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. 
This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. <laughs> you probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day. I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the well. Sooner or later, pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, wow. what are we gonna do about Marcano? Pay him his goddamn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him at the country club. Oh, this is good Says game. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. I always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. Wow. Gangster, that's what this guy is. Wow. All right. Well, I'm going to stop it there. Um, I will be coming back to this, I'm hoping, tomorrow. Um, keep an eye out here for when I go live. You can follow me on Twitter as well. Um, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed. It's been fun. Uh, it's been a blast. Um, yeah. Definitely can continue playing this game through. This is going to be fun to play on stream. This one I will continue to play for sure. Um, yeah, I will catch you all next time. I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, wonderful ending to your week here. It's Thursday coming up on Friday, so I ho hope all of you are having a great week so far. And uh, yeah, I will catch you all hopefully tomorrow. This is World Runner 20 signing out. Later. <laughs>